it's already perfectly built. Larry, Swingle had also collected some interesting information about this island. I have to admit, I am curious. Gofuku Island holds traces of a lost civilization. Swingle suspected that this cavern of cosmic cognition is located here somewhere. Good to know. However, this is also the island with all the death traps left behind by an ancient civilization. Oh! Maybe you can even eat it. And maybe you'll start to glow from within. I wouldn't mind. I can see something through the hole. see something through the hole. can't get away from here. I know. I feel the same way you do, in case you haven't noticed. But we can't just play LARP anyway. And how are we supposed to do that without a Game Master? We just make it up ourselves? Have you ever made anything up yourself? Uh... No. But being a Game Master can't be that hard. You also said making a computer game wasn't hard. Hey, and nobody told me you need an engine for that. And it was the publisher's fault anyway. We didn't have one. But they would have screwed everything up if we had found one. Whatever. We need a Game Master. And Game Masters don't just fall from the heavens. Besides, can't even enter the ruins. We could play right here. No, there's not enough atmosphere. You know what? I've had enough. Yeah, we're out of here. Hey, what are you two doing here? Are you selling pie phones in the jungle now? And did they make you wear those clothes? Oh, damn, Finley. It's that weirdo from New Lost Wages. Don't move, Kyle. Maybe he won't notice us. I'm already talking to you. Damn, it didn't work. What are you doing here on the island? We came here for the Galactic Festival. It was supposed to be a one-of-a-kind event. Galactic creatures, lots of action and music. They promised that nothing would be impossible. And women. <laughs> yeah, loads of stars were supposed to be here. They weren't. Total flop. No stars. We almost drowned. And then there was the storm. All a total waste. But. We found a few like-minded people here, and we thought, huh, let's do a LARP. I know my way around LARPs. Well, of course, it's pretty obvious that you're doing one of your own about that old dance film. How does that LARP thing of yours work? We experience the wildest adventures in a world of fantasy. Each of us slips into a role, and the Game Master tells us what we experience. That's it? It's harder than it sounds. A Game Master has to know exactly what they're doing. Otherwise, it gets really boring. Hey, I could be your Game Master. Who? You? You don't look the type. You have no idea just how much imagination I really have. <laughs> uh, you just have to have enough for each of us here. Of course. But we also want to play in a location that's just perfect for us. What do you have in mind? Uh, we want to be heroes and tackle deadly traps. The more dangerous, the better. You know anywhere like that? I have to find the perfect location for the LARP first. Well, let us know when you find it. 
Have you seen a book of bad jokes around here anywhere? Joe, we took one of those from the festival. A role-playing book went missing there. It sucks. Can I have it? Sure. We threw it away. Threw it away where? Somewhere out there, outside the cave. Okay. How come there aren't any women in your bar? They're just not interested in that sort of thing. None of them wanted us to save them. Oh, we would have chained them up so nicely. They wouldn't even have had to say anything. Just sit there and look pretty. Like that was too much to ask. Now we have to leave it all to our imaginations. Oh, I had to handle it that way myself when I was young. <laughs> I'm 29. I have to get going. Candles always come in handy. How useful! Maybe those guys threw the joke book in here. That must be Lewis's joke book. Especially good with milk. I can't operate it the way it is. Something's missing. The stone disc fits on there perfectly. The stone disc fits on there perfectly. The stone disc fits on there perfectly. Now it looks like all the discs are in place. Hey, would you be Dora? Who wants to know? I do. I mean, who are you? Larry. Larry Laffer. And how does that help me? I don't know. You asked. I give up. Don't worry. You get used to him. Your sister says to say hi. Uh, thanks. Did she fall off something again? No, but she's preparing to climb the volcano. I sure hope that doesn't turn into a train wreck. Have you seen a gold stone or a dead marquee lying around here anywhere? No, I probably would have noticed both of those things. Too bad. What are you doing here? Actually, I came here to examine the ruins. They're one of my specialities. I more or less fell into it. Into the job? No, I was on vacation in South America when I got separated from my group and fell into a pit. Landed right on top of this gold statue. Man, it hurt. Then I was constantly on TV and everyone said I was an explorer specialized in some sort of tombs. And since I had nothing better to do, I thought I'd just travel around and see if I could find some more. Any luck? Not so far, but that statue made me rich, so it doesn't matter. Wow, good for you! I'm concentrating on plants now. They don't hurt as much when you fall on them. Looks like falling seems to run in your family. I'm supposed to bring Nora her climbing equipment. 
Yeah, I must have taken it by mistake. I'm such a mess sometimes. I'll take it back to her once the orchid has bloomed. Is that the vagina dentata? Maybe I can help you get it to blossom. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, it is. Don't you dare touch it. It's very sensitive and only the most empathetic and sensitive people should approach it. Otherwise, it will never bloom. And if it does, I want to be there to see it happen. I'm totally empathic. I'm not so sure about that yet. Maybe I can help you to get that orchid to bloom. That would be a magical moment. But only absolute experts should be present for that. Like me. And you don't look the type. But I know a lot about flowers. And bees. <laughs> oh yeah? Okay then. There are many different orchids in the archipelago, but they are all extremely poisonous except for one species. You can bring me one of those, can't you? Um... Of course. I'm sure you also know that all the others are deadly. Just the slightest skin contact will kill you. Of course I know that. Then I can't wait to see what you bring me. If you bring me something instead of lying dead somewhere in the jungle. How's your relationship with your sister? We actually get along quite well, although there is a bit of rivalry. After all, we work in similar fields. I think she could be a little more relaxed. She's always looking for the next big challenge. She should stop and smell the flowers along the way. Like you. Exactly. See you later. An information brochure about the island. Here are some boring facts about the archipelago's history. Lots of nice photos that seem to be pretty old. And some information about the flora here. A rare, highly bioluminescent fungus, which greatly reduces the heart rate when you eat it, grows somewhere here in the archipelago. It seems the orchids here are all pretty poisonous. Only one species, with a single blue flower and pointed leaves, doesn't kill you the moment you touch it. I don't even want to know what kind of dangerous animals they have here. I don't think so. <laughs> Not my fetish. That must be the non-toxic orchid the Dora wants. Are you sure? Only one way to find out. You know, uh, I think I'm still alive. Good thing. I brought you the only non-toxic orchid in the archipelago. Oh, wow. That's it. Maybe I misjudged you. You do have some botanical expertise. Has there been any change in the giant orchid? No, nothing at all. I'm not sure. Something's still missing. Larry, I've been going over the Marquis's notes from Swingle's file. And? He wrote in his diary, I have discovered a most unusual plant. Its scent is bewitching and its appearance is alluring, but the orchid is a harsh mistress. It requires a great deal of attention. Three things are needed to make it blossom. It can only grow if it is fertilized with poisonous bog water, like a fair lady. The orchid must be beguiled with words. The ethereal sound of classical music touches not only the hearts of men, but also that of this plant. How does your Pyphone know all this? I taught it well. Did not. So, uh, plenty to do. I'm supposed to bring Nora her climbing equipment. I'll take it back to her once the orchid is bloomed. See you later.
That's fine, just the way it is. Hi. I know Muffington's one of the founding fathers, but why did they name the island after him? I think it was the only island that didn't have a name. Well, that's something. What else is here? The founding fathers spent a lot of time here, and Rigibald Cockburn is said to be buried here. Maybe you can find some trace of him. And I need to find a way to talk to Faith. She and the other cannibals will have to trust me. Is there anything else you can tell me about Muffington Island from the file? The island is also considered to be haunted. It's said to be haunted by some scary Sister Superior. Oh, that sounds exciting. Maybe I can find her. Speaking of scary, that guy back there does look kind of menacing. Uh, hi, I'm Larry. Hi, my name is Otis. You seem pretty brave. Why? I mean, you're a man, right? You bet I am. I should be throwing you in our jail right now. No need, I've been there. What? Uh, uh, nothing. Well, I'll make an exception. You like being in this tribe? Oh, so-so. Yeah, I'm not allowed to live in the village. My hut has to be outside. Why is that? Somehow I sometimes feel like I'm different, you know, from the other cannibal girls. And I've been a member of the tribe since the very beginning. And, well, I think you're... How can I put this delicately? I'll bet you got a willy in your pants. That's not a willy. It's just a, a really long pimple. At any rate, well... I'm just so confused. I don't really know what I am. It's all so confusing. You have to learn to accept yourself as you are. What do you mean? You have to accept your uh, masculine attributes. I have the same problem myself. But at some point, I simply had to accept that my masculine virility has no limits. A man can also have his merits. But the others behave so strangely towards me. This society simply has expectations of me that I can't meet. If you find yourself attractive, then others will too. There is something in what you're saying. What do you know about the little guy in prison? Oh, he kinda creeps me out. Oh, he looks at me funny and he licks his lips. And the places he grabs himself. There's no way I could ever reach those on my body. The other day, he made me so furious that I grabbed him and choked him. But he actually liked it. I stopped, and he was really disappointed. He said he almost had a sexual out-of-body experience. Ooh, hopefully. He'll soon be fat enough to eat. And I won't have to hear his voice anymore. Can you tell me about the Sister Superior? The Sister Superior? Better not talk about her. She's always somewhere nearby watching us. If we do anything she doesn't like, bad things happen. Why don't you do something about her? If only it was that easy. She especially picks on me. I'm her nephew. You are? That's what she calls me. And she thinks that everyone in her family is respectable. So I should be too. I have to get going. Don't eat limbs unless you know where they came from. What? How did you get out? Uh, I was just looking for the bathroom. Get back in there. Yoo-hoo! Could you come back in here? What is it now? How long have you actually been living on the island? Oh, for quite a while now. But do you know where you were before? I only have a vague memory. I was very young, but that doesn't matter. We're living in paradise here, as long as we follow the holy book.
What is your holy book? It contains all the rules we need to live a good life. It tells us what is right and what is wrong. The book is really old, but it was damaged. Fortunately, we were able to put it back together. But, uh, sometimes I'd like to try some of the things that are wrong. <laughs> Who doesn't? But whenever we do something that is not according to the rules in the holy book, Sister Superior comes to haunt us. She makes her way through the village and scares us. I was talking to Otis the other day and I noticed how good she smells. Somehow kind of spicy, different from everyone else here. It made me curious. But then the Sister Superior appeared and yelled at me to keep my hands to myself. About Otis. What about her? So you're kind of curious about uh, her. Yes, there's something about her that's kind of manly. Sister Superior can't be allowed to hear this. Of course! I'm just curious about what it would be like with her, you know? Is that normal? I think I'm the only one here that feels that way. Sister, if you're asking this guy what normal is, you've come to the wrong place. Quiet, Pi. There's nothing wrong with you being attracted to him. I mean, her. <laughs> I mean, after all, you've already had a look in my pants. Have you forgotten that that's not necessarily representative and it might put someone off? I will turn you off in a second. Maybe you should just talk to Otis again. I can't do that. I'm on guard duty and I can't just walk away. And how am I supposed to know if I'd even really be interested in the contents of his pants? Maybe something can be done about that. See you later. That Wendy girl finds you interesting. Really? That would be great. You like her too? When I look at her, something happens down there. <laughs> that sounds familiar. So you're interested in Wendy, she's interested in you. But I'm really not certain she's actually interested in me. Look at yourself. A man like you? You're brought there at tresses. And then there's... Your sonorous, powerful voice. Not to forget. Your penetrating, masculine gaze. So, you're right. I really am completely manly. Well, maybe I should actually reach out to Wendy. But how can I make her curious about me? Well, you're wearing that loincloth. It gives me a lot of freedom down below. And everything dangles so nicely. I've learned that nowadays, people send each other photos of their, <clears throat> you know. What's a photo? Just let me take one. Wendy will be thrilled. If you say so. Okay, hold still. Let me take a picture. Does it hurt? Only if you put it on the internet. Where? Uh, let's not talk about that. What? How did you get out? Uh, I was just looking for the bathroom. Get back in there. Yoo-hoo! Could you come back in here? What is it now? I have a photo here that might interest you. Show me. Wow, so this is what they look like ungrilled? Are they all so hairy? All depends on where you shave. Well, I like it. Maybe you should talk to Otis about this. That's a good idea, but I'm not supposed to leave my post. I 
won't tell if you take off for a bit. Thanks. You're a real friend. I'm just so curious. Otis can't wait to see you either. Have fun! Great, the coast is clear. I've heard that editing holy books doesn't go down too well. Although that wouldn't make much of a difference here. This seems to be a recruitment brochure. I'll just take it with me. Nice freezer. Maybe I can do something with it. I'll take a photo of it. Maybe I should put it on so that it slows me down a little. <laughs> Larry, if some of the Founding Fathers died here in the archipelago... And there are lots of graves here. Sometimes you even think along. But I can't just dig up every grave in the area. We have to know which one we want. There's something written on it. Instant contact with the dead. Please add something that was loved something from the body of a descendant, something from the body of the deceased. Wax to bind everything, and finally some fine spice. Then take the bag to the grave. 